There are 24,000 mobile phone sales reps in the UK. The same materials that are used in aeroplanes, some of it is used in this phone. And every year, the industry holds a competition to find the best one. It's the Oscar for the mobile phone industry. Get in there! Go on! It's the same as it would be for a journalist to win the Pulitzer or for a writer to win the Booker. It scares me about what my potential is. From across the country, top sellers from all the major phone retailers face a gruelling series of challenges. What are the camera resolutions for the Samsung Galaxy A5? 13 megapixel camera on the back and a 5 megapixel on the front. In front of expert judges. We are expecting to see people who could sell anything. So here we have a flotation device. Uh, I've written down one word and it's as painful. They've been given the power of being judges and I feel that it's really gone to their head. After six months of intensive tests, only the very best will win a place in the grand final. I'd like you to line them up in decreasing battery size. I'm not going to get my guns out just yet. And with it, the chance to change their lives forever. I'm proud of him, I'm proud of him. And, uh, it seems like, you know, you've done a good job. I'm emotional because I'm passionate, not because I'm soft. It's just so difficult. It's just so tough. If stress is for you, sell more mobile phones. And the winner of Shop by 2015 is... Christ on a raft. Welcome to the world of mobile phone sales staff, where 18 million smartphones are sold every year. And yeah. this locks me in to two that years. That locks you into two years like always. Oh it's always God. been like that. that. I think that should be illegal. Starting out in a mobile phone store is a tough gig and you have to know a lot of product. Doesn't want to play ball. Probably a few birds up there on those phone masks today. As well as being great at customer service. I need to log in. I've fast. been here for about an hour. You've got customers walking out the shop. The competition is about to begin to find the best phone salesperson in Britain. <laughs> a lot of these guys are working, not earning a lot of money, but if they do this competition, it can be life changing. The whole thing starts with each retailer having the honour of choosing their so called chosen ones. The chosen ones are the very best in that company that represents a particular brand, represents what they think a good salesman should look like. As Britain's biggest network, EE has over 3,000 sales advisors, or as they like to call them, high street heroes. Top management have searched over 500 stores to select their best. Meet Johnny Brown. Yeah, the best! Johnny's been selling phones for over a decade, currently out of the Golden Square Shopping Centre, Warrington. I've worked with a lot of sales advisors and I've never come across anyone who's like Johnny. There's one that's really good that I don't know if you've heard about, it's called Shazam. You I've can, got that. Have you already got yeah. it? It's really good, isn't it? Do you use yeah. it quite a lot? No. You know. <laughs> if we had a shop full of Johnnies, all right, then, take care. Imagine what the place would be like. EE e. are hoping Johnny's impressive technical knowledge will win him the competition. I know my stuff. I, I, can, uh, I can mix it up with the best of him. You can connect your laptop to your phone using it as a personal hotspot. Wouldn't need to have your dongle then. Johnny dedicated himself to his career after the breakup of his relationship with the mother of his two kids. We were together for a long time, so it was the hardest time of my life. It was, it was horrendous. It wasn't, wasn't great. Johnny's dedication has paid off. He has already won the award for EE's Best Sales Associate of the Year. He polishes it. Now he's going to try and become the best of all the retailers, the shop idol. So you can do it? Without a shadow of a doubt. Well, I've got the pedigree, haven't I? I've won the EE award, the best sales advisor in the company, so if anyone could win it, it's me. While Johnny has been chosen to represent the industry giants, Andy has been chosen to represent the little guy. See the little 3G sign there? When that turns off, usually that's a sign that that's when, like, like yeah, de de 
defunct eye. 29 year old Andy works for Phone House, a small independent chain with just 50 stores. That's it. Andy has built some of the best sales figures in the company. Are you? With an almost supernatural ability to shift mobile phones. I just watch them and go, eh, how did you do that? Like, you'll just create a seal out of nowhere. I'll tell you what I can do with that one, though. I can get it probably all connected and I'll uh, I can drop it off for you or something. When I approach someone in the shop, it's just like um, I'm trying to already predict what they want and predict what they're, what they're going to see. What's the difference in price? It's just thinking two steps ahead. It's not like a game of chess kind of thing, do you know what I mean? And then it's a decision made, you know, you'll feel, you'll just feel something in the air click. It's a weird feeling, you know, you know, you know when you've done it. Thanks very much. Nice again. Andy yeah, is convinced he can win Shop Idol and has the support of his sales colleague, Danny. Are you like best mates? I could say that, I. Who he's known since he was 11. I don't really like him at all, <laughs> to be fair. I just like go to hold no, no, in front of people and No, no, like. that's not the way. No, the worst <laughs> bit, the way. worst bit, right, is in the car, you'll be sitting in the car with him and the handle will be on the gear stick and he'll go, <laughs> and I'll go, Dan, there's no one around. It's not funny when it's just me and you. It's just awkward. <laughs> and, 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 and he put, he put his hand on my leg and I'll go, will you get off us? <laughs> no phone house sales associate has ever won Shop Idol. And this year, they are going up against one of Britain's retailing Goliaths. Tesco Mobile have four million customers, but no standalone shops. They have a pod, or a section in 320 supermarkets. They have chosen one of their chosen ones, mum of two, Maria Cooper, from the Tesco Extra in Northampton South. To be chosen, I mean, that's fantastic. I'm almost expecting, like, a, a light to come down and sort of sit above my head every time someone says I'm the chosen one. So I'm quite humble by it, really. <laughs> but for me, it's, it's what I do. Since transferring from the checkout, Maria has focused on customer service and making her phone area a welcoming place. So since we went for lunch, I've got my team to put some pancakes out, which has gone down really well with our customers. Obviously, they like the chocolate variety. Just a little touch that we do in the phone shop. Our customers are like our guests. The way I put it across to my team is think of this as their party. And that. Thank you very much and every customer that comes in is their guest. Hello, how are you? There's no point talking jargon. Very, very basic phone. It, you know, it does what it says on the tin. It's not rocket science. You've got the flip or you've got the flat one. Is that the flip? About just keeping it simple so they've got that full understanding there. At 47, Maria is the oldest chosen one in the competition. It'd be fantastic to win. It'd be fantastic to show that actually you don't need to be that, that young kid out there. Food again, you're welcome. Bye. Age is irrelevant. Who you are is irrelevant. It's about being that... It's about being a shop idol. Across the country, there are 32 chosen ones, but less than half will make it through their first test. Mike Dallos became a shop idol judge 10 years ago. He's a mystery shopping mogul who runs a secret shopping empire. We have thousands, literally thousands of mystery shoppers that do activity for us. He's about to send his team of secret shoppers in to examine the chosen ones. The camera is built into the tie. If you can see the lens just through there, it's just there. Any customer who enters the shop over the next three months could be any chosen one secret shopper. Just remember that a uh, mystery shopper could be in any day now. Everyone's a mystery shopper. <laughs> Everyone is a mystery shopper, yeah. What I'm looking for in Shop Idol is the complete package. I'm looking for somebody who is an absolute sales star. They really understand the customer, they have incredible knowledge, and they have no fear of closing sales and, where appropriate, overcoming objections. But in addition to that, I want somebody who has a real affinity for giving great service. I know that person's out there. The secret shoppers have been unleashed, and so have the management. The companies are sending their top guns to mentor their chosen ones. And I, I sound, I sound. Good. All, all happening like that. Susie from Phone House Management helped choose Andy as a chosen one. I know you've got the talk and I know you've got that spark and mm. you have all that. All right. So that's the stuff you can't learn, but the learning stuff from my experience, or well, not my own experience, but from yeah. other people going through it, it's very, very much the tech. So just all right. swat up on that. All right. Yeah. Mm. I do it anyway, to be honest. Like, I'm always reading about tech and all that. Proper, proper geek. 
geek, perfect. Right. You know, uh, to a degree, to a degree. An exciting geek. Aye, well aye, an exciting, an exciting handsome geek. <laughs> I think he's absolutely great. If I was a judge, that would be absolutely what I'd look for. Someone that grabs you immediately and then is charming and has some self-awareness, obviously real will to succeed, but that's the whole package for me. Andy's secret shopper is approaching his shop. The secret footage will be evaluated by George Mike and at the offices of I Sell Mobile magazine, the company which runs the Shop Idol competition. Head judge Christian was talent spotted by I Sell Mobile after coming third in this very competition himself. Now we really get to see them perform for the first time on the shop floor. We will find those little details, the thing that you missed out, the tariff that you didn't talk about, the service that you didn't upsell or recommend. So it's really tough. I mean, they could be having a really bad day or a good day, but they're going to be judged on that shop. Consumer champion Sinitra is the editor of Mobile Choice and queen of technical specifications. Why should I be forgiving about somebody who doesn't know the products that they are selling? I'm a judge, I'm not their mum. If you put yourself up for a competition, make sure you know everything, otherwise don't do it. Now Andy is off the phone, the secret shopper will engage. What um, smartphones have you got? What are you thinking of doing like? Are you thinking of... Um, my uh, granddaughter sends me pictures of my great-granddaughter. Um, Your so... granddaughter sends pictures of your great-granddaughter? Yes, I'm, right. a, I'm a great-grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Andrew's using a, a little bit of, of humour. You're a great grandmother. How can that possibly be the case? We're always having a bit of a game with the customer, but obviously the customer, everyone loves to be complimented, and Andrew does it really, really well. So, this is the Galaxy S4, been out about four weeks, so it's sort of recent for you. And his secret shopper scores his star quality at the maximum 100%. He'll also be marked on technical knowledge. HTC have got the um, it's called HTC Sense. Um, this is called TouchWiz. Sony used one called. Uh, I'll find out. But, you know. I like him. I like the fact that he I went like through him. it, but he didn't know the last one. But he, he joked about am I finding out I rather like than him. just making it up and thinking, oh yeah, it's, it's called this and bamboos. He could have said anything, and a customer would have believed him. Yeah. Yeah. He just needs to do something about his product knowledge because you know humor will not cut it at the regional yeah, when it comes to or finals. <laughs> If you fancy yourself as a finalist in a national competition, you need to know about you know, the stuff you're yeah. selling. Yeah. All right, thanks, bye-bye. It's a bit of a cheeky chappy, but actually does it with a professional veneer. One of the key questions we ask, do you trust their advice and would you buy the product because of how they've recommended it? And I think Andrew ticks a lot of those boxes. It's a contender? I think so. The contenders have a lot to live up to. Yeah, I showed the trophy, it's fantastic. Really good weight to it as well. I took a while to get all the fingerprints off. There's the, there's the bad boy, nice and heavy. Stands for the phone signal. <laughs> a lot of people didn't know that. I remember lifting like this, wasn't it? I said, come on! <laughs> that was a real best feeling ever. Don't tell the wife that, because the wedding day was quite similar. <laughs> when John Sherwood won Shop Idol, he worked in Great Yarmouth in a small independent mobile phone company. I think John's a great example of somebody who's a hard grafter, who, he's got great product knowledge, he's a nice person, and he wanted to take his career to the next level. That's what we're looking for. Within months of being crowned, John's life was transformed. He was headhunted by the electronic giant Sony and offered a job as an area development manager. I've got a company car, so I'd sold my old car, so I used that bit of money for a holiday, which is fantastic. I've um, got a company fuel card, I get all the gadgets, which is amazing. I'll suddenly the postman's gone, I go to the post office, pick up a new smartwatch, I pick up a new tablet and things like that. Well, obviously it's for demo purposes as well, but it's just fantastic having this as well. 100% has changed my life, shop has been brilliant for me, yeah? Now I'm doing the job I love, and sometimes I may stop here to do a bit of admin, so this is my office. There's lots of space in here, which is cool. So, oh look, I left my trophy in here as well, <laughs> what a chance of that being in there. If you win this award, you've got to follow your dreams, yeah? You've got to push on, yeah? Because if you don't, you just wasted such a good opportunity. What is remarkable about John is that he wasn't even a chosen one. He was a different sort of contestant. He was a self-nominator. And now there are lots of sales associates who want to follow the John Sherwood path. 
What you can do is if you have been chosen by your company and you think, actually, I'm a good salesperson, I can do this, I can do this competition and I want to stand out, you can then enter yourself into the competition. I find persons that challengers who put themselves forward have a little bit more drive and determination and passion to really do well in the competition because they're really putting themselves out there. Hundreds have applied, but only the most popular will get to join the chosen ones in the competition. They have to persuade people to vote for them. Uh, you will see my picture. There will be a Samsung background there. And there will be a guy with a, with a beard there, okay, and a, and a baseball cap, black baseball cap, and I'm just smiling like, you know, like, I'm, like I'm winning, you know, obviously. <laughs> the whole thing is for me to move forward within my career, like, a, like, a, like catapulting my you know, my career. And that's, that's the right word, because catapulting means you from somewhere, there. You don't go with him, you from there to there. Hungarian Roland Ratway moved to Britain seven years ago in search of a better life. He started out by cleaning toilets at Butlins before becoming a three sales associate in Norwich, where he lives with his wife, Timia, and their baby son, Noel. I'm like I'm buzzing, I'm always buzzing, and people can feel this, even on the shop floor, they can feel that, that vibration. The best when customers leave with a smile, you know, ah, and they, they say to the manager, that was an amazing service. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is Roland Rat. Actually, my name is the same, Roland Rat Boy. So rat and V-A-I, you know Roland Rat? I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> so I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> Roland Rat, superstar. There you go, there you go, it's happening. Rat rapping. Oh, rat rapping, that could be good. For Roland, success in the Shop Idol competition would mean recognition in his adopted home. I'm, I'm very passionate about this whole thing and, I, and I, I'm very curious. Uh, where is the limit, you know, how far can I go? I'm, I'm very driven, I'm feeling the passion, you know? Yeah. I'm feeling like um, I, I can reach everything I want at the moment. I'm feeling really high. Roland's not the only one who's hoping Shop Idol can transform his career. Friday is here, but it's actually Saturday. Every day is a Saturday, we know this. I want legends, legendary performances. Your numbers will answer that for me at the end of the day. Rookie sales reps Kit and Ayub are also entered in the self-nominee category. Give me some star jobs, I want to feel your energy. Come on, guys. Their boss, on, Jason, yeah, runs the, the most successful three-store in the whole of England. Right, let's get you outside on the shop floor. Go, Ayub! Go, 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 go! Yes! He trains his staff to follow his own approach to selling. Kids, go, Kit, yes! Yeah, I'm crazy. Passionate about being the best and just not being the same as every other fucking robot out there. Have some fun, be crazy, get customers to remember you, and remember you for the right reasons. Come, come. It's all about the theatre. All I need to do is start taking my top off. Bring that handset to life. To get the best experience from the handset, it's a two-year contract. It's not as long as my marriage lasted, but um, it's a long time. Jason recruited Kit and Ayub via a charity for unemployed youngsters and he's turned them into the top salesman in the store. Going for the Note 4 is like going for a Ferrari. I'll call him my second dad. My first dad wouldn't love to hear that, but <laughs> um, yeah, he, he is literally, he's, he's helped me a lot. He's got an optical processor, so he's got uh, eight brains inside. He's been a big help. Before I started working at Free, I never had much confidence. Now I'm that kind of person where People like me for who I am. People deserve a chance, and I think with my guys going forward for a shop idol, it will help them not just achieve great things within their work life, but it will help them achieve great things in their personal life as well. As a chosen one, Maria from Tesco Mobile is already through to the first test. She is determined to be ready to meet the secret shopper. Good morning. What kind of makes you more unique? I don't know, I'm just me, really. Most of the people who work in our phone shops have come from another part of Tesco. So they're used to, you know, working on the tills, working in bakery. So they come at phone selling like they come at anything, which is how do I help the customer? I got a job in a nursery, but I needed an extra income. And I got a job direct selling through a very well-known, um, Lingerie slash marital aid company. 
if you can sell that, you can sell absolutely anything. It's about understanding your customer, exploring their needs, and finding them the right product. The secret shopper is on the move. Let's have a look at Maria Cooper from Tesco. Hello, Hiya. How are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. Good. How can yeah. I help? I'm just I'm after a phone for my daughter. OK, yeah. So, um, how old is your daughter? Uh, 15. Oh, oh, OK, then. Yeah. So what sort of budget do you have in your office? It's good that she's asking about the budget. Yeah. How, does she have a phone? OK, now we'll do a cat contract for your yep. daughter. Which gives you that peace of mind. She hasn't shown him any phones yet. She has like three leaflets about iPhones. She just needs to say, okay, these are the five phones within your budget. This is what each of them do. Which one would you like? Yeah. It's actually quite simple. Mm. Put £20 on credit, right. and then we would triple that. So she'd have an extra £40, so she'd have £60. To okay, use. okay. But that's not actually going to go very far. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, 60 up. pounds won't go far, okay. question, just so you know. That's a lot of money. It's 60 pounds. I've got a magazine brochure here. She seems more comfortable now. She's sitting down, she seems a little bit more together. She doesn't look like a salesperson. She's, she's acting like a shrink. How can I help yeah. you? Sit down. Would you like a leaflet? Although Sunitra dislikes Maria's performance, the secret shopper may save her. Have I answered everything for you? Yeah, yeah, he's very helpful. He was won over by her star quality and wouldn't hesitate to recommend her. If I can just get you to vote, it takes five minutes, two minutes. Still in my life. In the thing? No, it's on the, on the tablet. Can you vote for me? Time is running out for the self nominees. They are doing everything they can to get votes. The guy, that's the one with a big smile. High five. Please. Great. Let's get a new water. Whoever walks into the shop, basically, will get them voting. And then that, that's, that, I'm going ruthless with it. Ruthless. Who's on it today? No prisoners. I make it free, so you pay nothing. Okay. Yeah, but I just need one vote. The Lewisham team have just taken the lead from Roland. Ooh. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't handle this stress. <laughs> I can't handle it. <laughs> At the moment, I got 351 volts, which is not bad. The other guy from free, oh my God. It's too much now for me to, you know, to follow. So, you know, let's just, just shut this off, yeah, I think. EE's chosen one, Johnny, has still not been secretly shopped. And this is not his secret shopper. This is Deirdre. EE's e. director of retail. Out of her 3,000 sales associates, she chose Johnny to be her chosen one. Superstar status, how's the pressure? It's all right, I'm coping quite well. Yeah? Not letting it go to my head. I think Johnny is, like, he's just such a superstar. And are you keeping the old nerves? You're all right? You're not getting too nervous about this? Not really, no. Boy, can he sell and boy, can he attach things and sell multiple sales and all that. But it's always when it's right for the customer. We're going to win, aren't we? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? Definitely. <laughs> I feel all pumped up, ready to go. We've got a fist bump off her, so that's a, a power bump. Johnny, like thank you so much. I think they're pinning a lot of uh, hopes on me, so hopefully you can do everyone proud. This is Johnny's secret shopper entering the shop. Who's this, Johnny? Johnny. E -E. We're best looking for something with quite a decent screen, you know, for a lot of internet. Yeah. Which how do you mean do you say as in the size? Yeah. The yeah. Um, no. There wasn't didn't... really a meet and greet, was there? If you work in retail, you should at least be able to crack a smile. So that's the fire there. But he's got a very monotonic voice and he's not really expressive in terms of his body language. You get four gig of data and unlimited minutes in text then as well. I'm not sure about him. There's no joy, no happiness. It's just so tedious even to watch. Right, thanks. The secret shopper wasn't so harsh, but did say Johnny failed to deliver a fond farewell. The decision as to which of the chosen ones have been chosen to go through to the next round is about to be posted online. Just checking my score, see how well I've done or how well I haven't done. Get you to done well. 
Oh, no, I'm really nervous now. Actually, I don't know. If, should we just not bother? Should we just, like, leave it no, and just wait and see? Andy scores 96%. He's straight through to round two, the regionals. <laughs> what a belter. Absolute belter. Yeah, I kind of believe that, like. You just missed out. Damn. Johnny scores 87%. He's not gone through. I'm a bit gutted about that. And Maria... <laughs> Maria scored 85%. She has also not gone through. No. Oh, yeah, we go. I felt that every piece of advice Andy offered was given with an altruistic desire to help and inform, which is exactly what I go for. When I wake up in the morning, I, I, I always think altruistic, you know? <laughs> That's the first thing I think. Had I been a genuine customer, I wouldn't have hesitated to go back or recommend her. So do you know what? 83%? Uh-uh, 100%. Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> Touch me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As many of the chosen ones exit the competition, it's time for the most popular of the self-nominators to enter the competition. Christian is about to ring the self-nominees to let them know who has got through and will face the mystery shopper. Hello, it's Roland. Roland on the line, hello. How may I speak? Hi, Roland. Hi, it's Christian calling from Shop Idol. I'm just ringing to let you know yeah. that you made it to the next round. Just having an emotional moment, sorry. Yes! Hello, Jason speaking. Okay. It takes me great pleasure and loads of pride to say that uh, you are going through to the next round. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, so a little party time tonight. Woo! After Yes. I don't know if there's no really easy way of saying this. Um, but unfortunately, you made it through to the next round. I'm going to get you back, man. When did you start working with three? 16th of June 2014. So not even a year, and you're, and you're in Shop Idol. That is something to be proud of. You go home tonight and you tell your friends, you tell your family, then you walk around with a spring in your step, a smile on your face, and be proud of what you've achieved. We just need to get to the final now, and then win the final. That gives me a great pride and loads of pleasure to announce that we've got two uh, sales associates in uh, Shop Idol that have made it through to the next round. <laughs> Get in there! Go on! <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Two questions! Next time... I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all. All hell breaks all right. loose. Whose fault is that? It's your fault. Right. Yes. Sort it out. Fuck off and get some lunch or breakfast and sort yourself out. As the underdogs join the race to make the regionals. We think it's been mystery shops. But who will stand? Not a very good score at all, if, if any points. And who will fall? Nervous. It's there, it's there. 